right. All right, all right. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Roland. Roland Thomas. <clears throat> so, there's a new movie out. Uh, actually, you hear a lot, a lot of people talking about it. Um, the new Barbie movie. And there's um, apparently... Sounds like this movie uh, is not a good movie for kids. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it. My kids, they ain't going to watch it because if it's coming from Hollywood, I probably just don't agree with it at the gates. I'm not even going to give them a chance to corrupt my kids because they're already corrupting them. You know what I'm saying? So since they're already corrupting them, I'm not going to just willingly throw my kids to the wolves. You know what I'm saying? So there's a new movie out. Again, it's movie Barbie. Everyone's talking about it. And don't sound like it's a kid-friendly movie, you know, to be honest with you. Uh now I haven't seen anything about it. You know, the pictures, the 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 little snippets that I have seen are just disturbing to me out the gates. But I want to do them some justice. I'm gonna do them some justice. So I'm gonna go ahead and play play this trailer here. And we I'll just go see, just go here with this thing, see if there's anything that really jumps out just at the gates from the trailer, you know, just to really see what's going on here. So, because again, I don't know, I ain't seen none of it. So let's, let's, let's see what the trailer. Skipping off some stuff. Hey Barbie, can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. You can find me under the lights. All right, so it's, it's sounding all fun. Sounding all fun, and you go come over to her house for a party. Okay. Diamonds under my eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. <laughs> you guys ever think about dying? Did it? Hold on, Jim. Oh my goodness. Oh, so she come out right out the trailer. Somebody, have y'all thought about dying? This is a kid's movie. Uh, I'm about to shock this them in the trailer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's see. They shocked. I'm shocked. They shocked. I'm shocked. At the gates, this ain't this ain't for my kid that's that's like eight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm quiet too. When my heart breaks, some things have been happening that might be related. When my world shakes, cold shower, Ooh. falling off my roof, ah! and my heels are on the ground. <gasps> oh no, man. Uh it's the, I mean, just the feel of it is just feeling kind of wrong at the gates, man. I don't know. It just, it ain't, I mean, just ain't, you know, it seem pretty kid friendly out the gates. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it don't, it don't seem right. You know, I mean, I don't, my little kid, I only hear wearing high heels at, at eight right now. You know, I mean, maybe it's, maybe this is more of a teenager kind of movie. Let's, let's just give them a benefit of doubt. Well, I mean, it's, it's rated PG 13. Now, what is PG-13 in today's economy? It might as well just be rated R. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, my PG-13 back in like the 90s versus PG-13 now are like two different PG-13s. <clears throat> Our PG-13s was like, was like Ninja Turtles or something. You know, like, you know, a curse word here and there. But it wasn't just like what we see today this the, the pg-13 today is terrifying man to be honest with you all sorts of stuff going on in these new pg-13s but anyway let's let's see what do i have to do you have to go to the real world you can go back to your regular life or you can know the truth about the universe Okay, so we're seeing witchcraft out the gates, right? I mean, we got her holding two different two different shoes, go to the real world. She got some she got some weird eyes, man. Look at these eyes. 
Look at them eyes, man. Look at them eyes. Dude, that's creepy. Like, who is this? You want to go to the real world? I don't know a world. I don't want to go in the world. You sending me. Like, look at this lady. This is scary, man. This is not for kids. What is that? Why would I show this to my kids? Okay, so creepy lady got a sandal. And it looked like one of them Jesus sandals too, man. You know, y'all know how they always trying to get on Jesus about sandals. I mean, just who knows, but sandals and a heel. Creepy lady. I don't know, man. I don't know. She got a whole bunch of colorful hair. Big old circle around the eye, which is atypical of y'all know what that is. That all CNI stuff, man. <clears throat> Truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Closer I am to Closer I oh. am to yeah. I'm coming with you. Okay. Wow, this is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. Oh, no. See. It's already going south, man. Hey, I don't need my kid to see some guy slapping her on the, on the backside, man. That's why I took my kids out of public school over some very foolishness like this, you know, just starting off bad, y'all. Starting off bad. Same for kids. Hide your kids. Don't take them to this movie. It's looking bad. Oh, oh she done went to jail. Barbie done went to jail. I, I, we, we, we in a trailer, y'all. Why why they why they got why they got your kids? They promoting jail. Let's see. This is this is this is just a trailer, man. I ain't Barbie in the real world. That's impossible. If this got out. This could mean extremely weird things for our world. This would be catastrophic! We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. No one rests until this doll is back in a box. Even if nobody... I don't know what's going on right here. I got a feeling. Two dudes sparkling. This might be some other kind of Barbie. Humans only have one ending. Get that Barbie! I don't know. This Barbie is kind of really out there, too, at the same time. It's just a trailer, y'all. We ain't even got to, we ain't got to nothing serious yet. Just seeing the highlights. I don't know. I wouldn't take my little one to this. I mean, this is this is way too grown up. I I, I mean, I would thought like some animation, you know, Bar Barbie goes swimming with dolphins or something, you know. But Barbie in the real world, she looked like a full grown woman. She is a full grown woman. I just don't see how this could correlate to to little kids. I see thirteen, you know, but again, thirteen today versus thirteen back in the day is two different thirteens, man. PG thirteens. I don't know what PG thirteen today is just just ridiculous. <laughs> Ideas live forever. No, I won't let you do just one appendectomy. But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Somebody gets I don't know what he just said. But it surely does not sound kid appropriate. Yeah, I ain't, my kid ain't. I wouldn't take my kids. If you got little kids, probably even if you got grown kids, I wouldn't take them to this either. This, this, this is, it's, this, it's already looking like some sort of California propaganda per the usual of Hollywood. It's straight up the world, straight up the world. So, security is Bobby. But if you're still in doubt, and. If you, if anybody knows that song, that song was not about little baby Barbies. 
uh, you know, there's something else about this whole Barbie deal that really that was really disturbing to me as well. Uh, I would say, like after 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 it, after there was a couple of you know you know kind of came out and and people were saying, man, you know, this Barbie don't really seem like a kid friendly movie, you know. Um, there are some things that some other things that came out that was, you know, honestly really disturbing about uh, about this Barbie deal. And one of those, uh, what came out was this, this, uh, was this, this Barbie Ouija board. Look at this, man. Look at this creepy kid. Man, this is creepy. So I mean, honestly, you can see there is an agenda here, man. That is, that is, uh, that is bigger than what we see, right? I mean, I don't know. Have you ever seen a Monopoly Ouija board? Have you ever seen like any other Transformers Ouija board? No, you ain't seen that. But there's a Barbie Ouija board. Like, what is going on here, man? What's really going on? And see. Look at look at this creepy eyes, man. This girl is creepy. I don't know if this is the official. Let, let me let me preface this. I don't know if this is the official, you know, Barbie Ouija board, you know, picture. Uh, you know, I know this was you know posted by somebody else, and I shared it on my on my channel. But I find it very interesting that they would have a Barbie Ouija board. And like I said, I, I never seen a Transformers Ouija board. I've never seen any other kind of Ouija board of us, some of the movie that was out there. But apparently this this movie warrant the uh, the opportunity or the ability or, or the the marketing to put together a Ouija board. Now and now if if you if you are in uh if you are in the ministry that we're in, which is deliverance and inner healing, uh you would know that the Ouija board is 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 just is direct it is you want you want demons to come into your life? Get your Ouija board. You want some demons in your life? Get your Ouija board and see. They you go do who you talking to? You ain't you ain't know who you're talking to. You're talking to a familiar spirit that's gonna mess you up to so a come in and wreak havoc on your life. And when you find that that these that these idols creates passageway, creates a, a conductive situation for the demonic realm to come into your life. That's what you get. That's what you get when you play the Ouija board. I wouldn't play the Ouija board. If you if you mess with the occult in any kind of way, boom, here you go, right there. Again, you know Hebrews eleven one talks about the faith. Faith is faith is the substance of things hoped for, the things and evidence of things unseen. Therefore, we know that by the things that the things that are things that we see were created by the things unseen. And so, when you see uh, these, when you see things created. We're looking at something that is unseen that, that created it. And and I think it's honestly, this really gets really challenging for, for Christians to really grasp, which is so strange. They can they can grasp about faith, uh, getting them a new house and, and faith, giving them a new car and faith doing all this. You know, when it's when it's beneficial to them. Right. They can they can really imagine and grasp how the unseen world can create things that benefits them. But when you start saying the, un the, the, un the unseen world created this, created a Ouija board that's trying to suck your kids in, ah, oh, no, nah. no, nah, I ain't like that. That ain't how it works. Ah, oh, I'm covered in the blood. And you full of demons under that blood too. So, right, because you want to play Ouija boards. And, you, and, then you, and then, you give the, then you give the Ouija board to your kids. Like, come on, house. Stupid, can you be? Anyway, look at let's look at let's look at another video here. I'm gonna tee this up. I, I did. I haven't even watched it. I think it's another. It's like an exposed video. I, I don't really. I'm not familiar with this channel. Uh, fight for the truth. I ain't really ever watched their stuff. But uh, if someone comes out and says the Barbie agenda is demonic. I'm pretty sure we're on the same page. So let me see. Let me see what this young man has to say. Let's just get an idea. 
the channel where we bring you Christian commentary about the things that matter. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Barbie movie. This movie is probably the biggest release of the summer, and it taps into a market that has existed for years, literally. For decades now, little girls have been playing with Barbies, and that's the kind of nostalgia that this movie is obviously trying to tap into. And millions of dollars were spent to do this. This movie is supposed to be relatively family-friendly and appeal to younger teens and adults with children as the main demographic. But as you're about to see, this movie was far from family-friendly. In fact, it was not even appropriate at all for children. Now, some people have responded yeah, I mean, I, I believe that because, like I said, right out the gates, man, right out the gates of the trailer, man. I mean, your homegirl talking about dying. Like, that's creepy, man. Why would you, why would that even be a thing? Why would that even, why would that shock factor even come out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of die. And this is supposed to be kid friendly. Why would that even be a joke? Or why would they be a joke for a family? You know, kind of just out the gates. You know what I mean? That's, that's creepy, man. It's creepy. You already know that there's an agenda there. You know what I'm saying? It's wild. Oh, man. And I'll tell you, the part that really bothers me is that I know the vast, the, the, the vast amount of people who call themselves Christians are flocking to this to take their kids to go see Barbie. And they just feeding their kids to the to demonic Hollywood. Like Hollywood has stopped making kid friendly stuff for your kids the moment you become a believer. Like, because then your eyes should be open to the schemes of the enemy. If your eyes are not open to the schemes of the enemy, you need deliverance. You, you need God to really come and just boom, get the veil off your eyes, man. So you can see stuff for what it is. You can see the demonic realm and the spirit realm for what it is. And when you see a Barbie movie and then you see a Barbie Ouija board, you need to know the spirit that's behind it, man. And it ain't it ain't it ain't to help your kids either. Stay in habit, your kids. Responded to this complaint saying that the movie is rated PG at this creepy lady. for a reason. And it was obviously not meant to be exclusively marketed to children. My response is that that doesn't matter. The effect is the same. The make. And see, like, and that's so true because like they're like, oh well, look at the ratings. It's not for it's not for you know little kids. It's Barbie, man. Who you think go show up? Like that's not that they they play on people's stupidity. They just like oh, you know, ah, I, I, it's 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 rated for teenagers, yeah. But you know you're gonna bring your kids in there. It's a movie that's that's big, bright, colorful. You know it's for you know it's for the kids. No, it's for the kids. But you go, but but you go turn around and say, nah, it's really for the teens. We, you know, it's really kind of who we want there. Get out of here. Makers of this movie know that it is literally based on a children's toy and that My children brother. will undoubtedly be a significant portion of the people who watch it. And knowing that this movie will appeal to little girls, they still decided to make it packed to the gills with radical feminist propaganda and anti-traditional Christian values. But you know what? I'm going to take it a step further. Not only was Barbie unchristian, obviously, I believe that the movie is part of a new and opposing religion competing for the affections of the American public. Barbie is part of the spirit of the age, and that spirit is hell-bent on worshiping the divine feminine the goddess of female empowerment, as it were. This movie... To Yo, man, this brother preaching. That's, uh... Mm, that's pretty good. Because it is. It's so true. And, like, what you see there, too, who you know, if you know who the spirit is, that is over Hollywood, um, you can you can truly see that. And so... You, when you when you have the spirit of of baphomet let me see if i can help you out here because some of y'all you ain't gonna know what i'm talking about because you know help you out here <clears throat> but some people and they, they don't know who in the world i'm talking about and 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 again honestly i'm i may i do this I do this because I, there was someone who once kind of walked me through this and I, and it was, it was so, so helpful to, to see, right. And to learn uh, of actually what's going on. So th this is the spirit that is over 
over Hollywood. It's called the Baphomet. And you typically you see this guy, uh, you see this thing when it relates to Satan worship, right? So we, we usually we attribute this to Satan worship, and it is. It's a lot of Satan worship at the same time. Uh, but you see the hand symbols here. You're going to see a lot of people in Hollywood do that. You'll see that. Uh, but if you pay close attention, this is this goat, and this goat actually has female parts, but it is both the male as well. You can see that. It look very male-ish, doesn't it? Um, and female. <clears throat> so it's 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 a it's her it's a it's a, it has both, and so uh, you see a full corruption. Uh, this thing, this thing, is the full corruption of of what it is to be what God created you to be a, a male and a female, and so it's saying it has both. And uh, it is, it is, uh, it is, this is what is traditionally used uh, to represent Satan as well. Most demonic cults are going to have this Baphomet uh, as well. So this angelic goat, which is full on rebellion uh, with these two fingers doing this deal, all kind of male parts, female parts. And so we, when you have, when you, you're going to have a full on attack against uh, the family unit and against the traditions uh, the, the Judeo-Christian values that we have in in America. That's what you're going to have with with the Baphomet. Um, that's, and, and so that God, that God of that of that age, or that God of that God is is trying uh, is is set is, is setting up the scene for for that to to be right, so that they can they can they can um, they can push these feminist agendas. They can push agendas that are against the family, right? Uh, to, to bring about confusion. That, that is what, that is what that demon does. And it rules Hollywood, it rules Hollywood, man. If you, 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 you can look at any artist, um, who is full, fully in it, in the game. Um, they're going to have some, some sort of, some sort of, uh, symbolism of that bathroom. I don't know whether it be the star, it be the goat itself, uh, with a full on hand gestures, uh, you're going to see it, man. It's, it's terrible. And then when you start seeing this stuff creeping into the church, it's even scarier um, because you see how lukewarm the church is. And it's, it's absolutely scary. So I didn't go, go, go on the whole tangent there. Let's let's look at this. To put it bluntly, is a demonic feminist dumpster fire that is mm. at least partially meant to indoctrinate impressionable young children, mm. especially girls. And therefore, I consider it my responsibility to make a video like this, exposing it for the deceptive absurdity that it truly is. And this is, of course, when the peanut gallery chimes in saying, Colin, come on, please just calm down. Take it down a notch. You're taking this way too far. Is the movie Christian? No. But does that mean that it's part of some evil plot to destroy Christian values? Of course not. Oh, really? Well, how about we take a look at the very first scene of the movie and see if that hypothesis holds up. We open with a reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey, wherein some little girls are playing with baby dolls. And then they discover a giant Barbie. And upon discovering Barbie, the little girls proceed to viciously and violently destroy their baby dolls and literally bash their heads in. And again, keep in mind, this is the first scene of the movie. Truly, I can think of no better. That's the first scene. Some kids bashing the heads of their dolls. That's the first scene. That's crazy, man. I ain't, you wonder again, would I take my kids? Absolutely no. no I would take my kids to see that. What? What is that? What is that? The, the bang and busting up the heads of dolls, man, that is scary. Why would you have you? Would you have your kids in the? What if? It, think, hold on, wait, hold on. If if you walk in the living room and you see your kid with a doll busting the heads of other other dolls in the middle of the floor, what you gonna think going on? Something ain't right with this kid. Why? How? And this isn't this movie isn't for kids, right? Why you got a big old kid right there in the front of the in the, the very first scene of the movie? Who is this actually for? For the little kids. Full on indoctrination. Unbelievable. Get out of here, man. That is crazy. 
And I have not seen better this metaphor for modern seen. feminism than this. A bunch of angry, selfish people literally destroying their unborn children in pursuit of becoming a shallow, plastic imitation of a real woman, fully absorbed in their own self-image. You see, like it or not, the Bible and traditional femininity encourages women to be domestic, to be focused on managing their household with grace, dignity, and modesty. See Titus 2, 3 through 5. But modern feminism says the exact opposite. It says, who needs a traditional home? Who needs a man? Who needs modesty and dignity, for that matter, when you could instead focus on yourself and your job and your power and your reflection in the mirror, etc.? This doesn't sound very ladylike, does it? This is the worldview of Barbie being presented within the first 30 seconds. So please, don't tell me that this movie doesn't have an agenda. It obviously does. Mm. But let's get into... Yeah, I mean... Wow, that's uh, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. I mean, it's so true. You know, it, 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 what I find interesting, you know, you have the, you have the feminist movement, and and um, and I think, and again, and I think in some ways, I think in some ways, you know, it it, it helped, right? It helped from the standpoint of uh, equalizing. Um, I mean, showing 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 the the equality between women pay and, and all of that stuff and it's nothing you know absolutely i'm all for it i mean you, yes yes you want the ladies to be you want you want women to be to have the same equal pay as a man as, as long as everything else lines up right if they if they are truly qualified for the job yes absolutely pay them what they're qualified to do you know uh, I'm, I'm all for that i'm all for that but when, when you start but when you start bashing when you start bashing uh let's say it's like let, let's say it's, it's a it's a, a stay-at-home mom right um why is it why is it that stay at home mom is 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 perceived as as lower than the than the see than the than the female CEO? Suddenly the female CEO see the female CEO is a is a is a is a boss lady. You know, she's a woman boss. And I mean, come on, y'all. And and, and it's you know, it's it's she is someone who is talented or someone who has who has worked the merit to to become um to become a CEO, that's okay. You know what I'm saying, but 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 to 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 um to start to bash men and say that men aren't needed and men and men are uh, are not valued, are not valuable. Well, now you go in another direction, uh, because men need women just as women need men. And I, I tell you, the part that really gets me too is when you start looking at these the alphabet community, and and. <laughs> And then you have you have folks getting, um, you you know you have men wanting to become, uh, women, and women wanting to become men, uh, or or you have the men trying to go into women's restrooms, and then you don't have men standing up for that, you know. I'm honestly I'm like, or well, you have men in women's sports, biological men in women's sports. And why isn't why isn't why aren't the feminists outraged about that, right? Because if, if this is all about women equality and not having not being trumped by men and all this other stuff, well, where are the feminists at? You know, where are the feminists where are the feminists at when 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 there are men literally taking over their sports? You know, so is the is this agenda truly about women or is this is this something a little bit more? Is this something, you know, a little bit more demonic? Is this really about about women and, and, and women's rights? <clears throat> or is this about destroying uh, men, good men? You know, is this about destroying good men? Is this about destroying families? Is this about not having more families, right? When, when we start talking about, when we start talking about um, abortion and killing babies and not, and not having the next generation move forward, is this is this is this really about feminism or is this about killing a family? Because when you have no family, you have no country. We have no family, you have no community. We have no families. You have no city. You have no state. You have no states. You have no country. It's families. This is all about families. And and there is a family that is that was that was God that was God created that was God ordained and set up from the beginning of time and 
with the U.S. having its Judeo-Christian values. Um, that is that is that is what our country was built on. Now, I'm gonna show you this because I think this is just fitting. We've been in a, I've been in the study of the Book of Romans and it's that they just so fit. And the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in our righteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things which are made, even his eternal power and God has, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were they thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And I'm going to really sit there. Professing to be wise, they became fools. And all of our modern technology and, and all of our modern movements, all of our scaling of, of data to try to figure out how can we create the best economy, the, the, the best the best living situation, the best economy for our, our, our country and for the future of our country. When we negate, when we negate the simple things of God, marriage between one man, one woman, you have the, do you have the male being the head of the household, the female being a neck, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, the head can't do nothing without the neck, you know, both, 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 both are in equal power, but one has the greater authority and that's the man. It's okay. It's not, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not bad. If, if, if you own a company, somebody, if you own a company, 50, 50%, if you ever look at the, the stats, 50, 50, 50, 50, percent partnerships don't work well because no one has decided authority, right? They have to vote on everything and then nothing ever gets done. But if you have, if you have a partner that's 51%, the other one's 59, that, 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 that company seems to be a little bit more successful because someone has an authoritative position. That's the same thing in a household. So same thing in the household. God set men to be the head and women to be number two. But they but they're both a joint, they're both co-leaders of the household. They're co-heirs of the household. But one has a divine given authority that 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 moves the dial forward. So so let's see. I'm gonna kind of skip to the end here and see what this young man. See young man says, and then we'll kind of, we'll, we'll, I ain't watch all this, but. My bad, my bad, I didn't flip that. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. Skip to the end here. Let's see what we got. They inserted the pro-choice, LGBT, anti-masculinity, anti-marriage, anti-traditional gender role themes. It's certainly not our fault that we happen to notice the themes that they intentionally put right under our noses. And the reason I disagree so passionately here is because the radical feminist message is clearly destructive to society. And any part of it, even just a movie, needs to be called out. Look around. They're damaging the family, damaging marriage, damaging the sanctity yep. of human life. And yep. now they want your kids to be a part of this, too. That's why they're going to great lengths to take over all education and all entertainment, because yep. they know that's where the kids are. So please keep your children away from this train wreck and Come don't on. waste your money watching it. My it's man. all part of the same tired, unbiblical agenda being pushed endlessly by the secular world. And that is the truth about the Barbie movie. I pray this has been a blessing to you. My man. He brought it home right there. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, y'all go ahead and, and I'll, I'll put the link to his his uh his full the full video in the description below. But yeah, it's true, man. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you just you can't trust you can't trust Hollywood to produce anything that, that's gonna be supportive of the family, support supportive of your Christian values of our Judeo-Christian values as a country, you can you can just hang, you can hang that up from Hollywood. Hollywood is not going to do it. I, I wouldn't even look towards them. I mean, you're probably better off searching for alternative alternative deals and alternative um, movies and outlets, you know, other, other movies that, that that fits that fits the Christian genius. Some may say, oh man, well you just close-minded and, and, and a bigot and a zealot. Well, I'll be a closed-minded bigot zealot um, for, for Christ. 
Because at the end of the day, here's here's what here's what Romans twelve says, and that is that we that we don't be conformed to this world, but we be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That we put off the foolish things of this world and take on the mind of Christ. And that's what this whole thing is about. This is about taking on the mind of Christ and being more like him versus the world. And if we continue to be like the God of this world, then we'll find ourselves being Christian feminists. And that ain't that ain't that ain't there. It ain't there. You, we'll, we'll find ourselves being backbiters and, and whisperers and, and we and, and we being full of unrighteousness. In the church, and therefore, we are then workers of iniquity. We don't know God, who is our Savior. You know, so. So, what's the verdict? Should you should you have your kids go watch the Barbie movie? Man, y'all better please, for the love of everything that you believe, if you are a Christian, stay away from that movie. Don't 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 have don't have Hollywood. Hollywood's the the, the this agenda is already programming your kids. If your kids and public school and i'm not i'm not slamming if you can't put your kids in in in, in home school or private i'm not saying any of that man but but there's an agenda there's a real agenda and that agenda is coming after the next generation is coming after our kids and and we got to we got to stand against it we got we got either not take part in it and we have the opportunity to vote against it vote against it like stand up for something have a backbone for something you know what i'm saying don't be up there all scared wishy-washy oh no i'm gonna keep my faith to myself this is a Judeo-Christian country. You have the right to vote for the stuff that you believe. And if you believe in Christian values, well, you vote for Christian values. Forget what the other stuff says. You stand up for Christian values. If you get persecuted, then you get persecuted. Christ did. What are you scared of? You scared of losing a social media account? You scared of being ridiculed? What are you scared of? You scared of persecution? Well, we were called to be persecuted. So... So, you know, if you, if you, you know, listen, if something comes out, just give it a week or so before you go subjecting your kids to the foolery of Hollywood. But let some videos come out. Let some people talk about it. Tell you, let you know if it's a decently good movie for kids or not. So, obviously, this ain't this ain't for kids. So, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Hide everybody. Just don't even go, man. And go find something else to watch. There, there's, I think the Domino Revival is coming out here pretty soon. And there's a, there's a lot. There's, there's been, there's been a lot of Christian movies that are coming out in movie theaters. So go look it up, please. Go, go support them. That they, they, they can use support to get the message out and, and, uh, and get your life changed. You know. So, Roll Thomas, I'm out, y'all. To the next video. <laughs>